Hello, my hearties. A very, very good morning to you. It's just me, Scotty McClue. Saturday morning, nothing gets past me. Time just going up to 10 minutes past eight. Good morning, everybody. Dinky do, how are you? No, no, we're not up. We're always up with the lark. We're just broadcasting early this morning. I'm going to have to see if I can get this screen a little bit brighter. Uh, so just bear with me. Fantastic stuff. There we are. Well, we sort that out. Uh, otherwise, I'll not be able to see you fry up this morning, Scotty. Uh, yes, I think we'll have a little bit of bacon and egg this morning. Uh, fantastic. Early buds get the ones. That's what we always say. Up with the lark. Yes, indeed. In bed with the hulets. Uh, do you think there's any way back for P and O? I'm very, very sorry to see such a wonderful name, Peninsula and Orient. Uh, in that situation, you know. Uh, so there we are. It's just very, very poor behavior. That's what I would say. So anyway, we'll see what happens. But I think everybody will be very, very dischuffed with that attitude, that kind of treatment of other human beings in this day and age. Hello, Scotty. Dinky dear. Good morning, Kareem. A lovely to have you with us, and a massive dinky do. I'm talking to quite a dark screen this morning, guys, uh, because I reduced my brightness intentionally, because it was a little bit bright early this morning, and I forgot to put it back, but hopefully I could see all your messages. That'd be wonderful. Aha, McClure, a fair morning to you, Billy. I thank you very much, and a very, very good morning to you as well. Just terrific to have you with us. That's what I say. I wonder if I can sort this brightness going down. Yes, I think I probably can. Uh, so there we are. Just bear with me, guys, and we'll see if we can get this sorted for us. And then we can press on, you see. That's what it's all about. Ah, there we are. Oh, yes. Oh, now we're talking. Fantastic. Right. That should be okay. So I should be able to come back to you and see everything that's going on. Ah, there we are. Isn't that fantastic? Good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Dickie. Dinky do. Scotty, you look fine. Is it all right? Seriously. Fantastic. We need to be careful. We don't become the sweatshop of Europe, which was forecast a decade ago. Yes, I think so. Although coming out of Europe was a massive, massive error of judgment. And now we're paying the price. I notice the politicians and the news outlets keeping very quiet about Brexit being responsible for the mess we're in. But people are blaming everything else, the pandemic, the price of oil and gas, the war in Ukraine, all that sort of stuff. But at the end of the day, Brexit, 250 billion quid, straight down the Swanee with nothing to show for it to get a few billionaires off the hook. And we were all robbed and conned in the process. And I know you can say, oh, do you not believe in democracy? Oh, it was a democratic vote. No, it wasn't really. Two million people, I think, was the actual, I can't remember the actual exact figure for what the majority was, but two million people uh, dictating to almost 70 million that you lose your citizenship after 50 years of peace and prosperity. My goodness me. We don't want any of that, do we? Aha, dinky do. Hello, Scotty. Kareem, lovely to have you with us. It makes a mockery of patriotism. It does, Aidan. And I think they had everybody waving the little union flags. Hey, we want our country back. Just a lot of rubbish. Our country hadn't been anywhere. So there we are. Dinky do. Now then, thank you very much. Hello, Donald. Welcome. Good morning from Belfast, Scotty. Yes, Brexit, the greatest scam in history. So there we are. We've lost out 50 years. We begged and begged on bended knee from virtually the end of the Second World War to be part of the single market. And we were told no by General Charles de Gaulle. And I don't know why he did that, because we we're very good to France during the Second World War. Now, who have we got? Uh, good morning. Tell us a joke. Beautiful Logan. You know I don't tell jokes. I went into the doctor's and I said, can you help me out? He said, which way did you come in? Ah, yes, indeed. Morning, Scotty. Hope you're doing well. Kenny, lovely to have you with us and a big dinky-do. Welcome, welcome, I say. 
Follow us, guys, as soon as you can. Now, there's a half-wit called Sammy who says, want to fight. Sammy, you will do very, very badly in life if you go around saying to people, want to fight. And you'll end up spending most of your life on your back. So I would change your approach. Have you watched War Horse, Calvin? I adore that movie. It is a stunning, stunning movie. And I'd love to have seen the theatre production with the puppet horse, beautifully controlled. Uh, they talk about poverty. Surely we should be talking about destitution. Well, Bobby, that's a very, very good point. There's going to be a lot of poverty already. We have a lot of children that we can't feed in this country. And the food banks, when did you ever see a food bank before we had the present party in power? Now, there we are. There's Satan's minion. We'll just dump him. He's an idiot. Right. Bye-bye, Satan's minion. Doing the swanny with idiots. Guys, remember, never, ever, ever, ever uh, troll Scotty McClue. It's just sheer madness from your point of view, and you'll end up with a lifetime ban. You'll never be back. So there we are. Fantastic stuff. Now, who else have we got here? Scotty. Gorbals, boy, good morning. How lovely to have you with us and a big dinky-doo to you. This is absolutely outstandingly fantastic. Guys, I've uploaded so many videos for you. Now, all you have to do is follow me, have a look at all the videos, watch, like, and share, because they're made for you with love. That's it. They are made. I made them for you. Yes, absolutely. Well said, sir. Absolutely, Rose. Thank you, do. Good morning. Why are people saying want to fight? Who would want to fight Scotty? He's the best. That's forever. Only a half-witted idiot would ever want to fight me. Look, uh, I'll show you a bicep. Now, I can't even... Look at that. I can't get a hand round that bicep. Can you see that? I can't get a hand round that. Yes, there you go, look. You see? Uh, so, I mean, it's just it's just madness. Uh, now, there's a, a dirty, filthy wee midden called Cheesy. So Cheesy's banned for life down the Swanee with Cheesy. Dirty wee midden. There he goes. Fantastic. We love it. Right. They'll never ever learn these trolls, but there we are. They will always try. Follow us as soon as you can. Thank you. How can it be I've worked all my life and at 64 have to go to food banks? Richard, it's nothing to do with age or having worked all your life. Poverty can just come upon us. You know, I mean, I remember uh, being involved in a business deal with the only bad person I've ever met. And I lost a lot of money through that person's dishonesty. There we are. I haven't heard the word midden in years. Uh, Spoot, there we are. Well, we've had a few wee middens on here and they're away doing this one. Uh, I felt ill on Tuesday by evening, very ill, tested for COVID, isolating in an hotel. Corbels boy, please take great care of your dear self. You are a very, very precious person and a thoroughly decent human being. The trolls could learn a lot from you. Uh, now, who have we got here? How much did you lose? Oh, about 100,000 £100, pounds, my life savings. So they're 150,000, something like that. It's crazy, crazy stuff. And a lot of it just through thorough dishonesty. There we are. Uh, so, ah, cheers, buddy. No bother, garbles boy. Have people nothing better to do than troll? Well, they think they haven't, Richard, because they have a very, very low opinion of themselves. You see, that's the problem. They're not really a problem to us. They're a problem to themselves. So if you're a troll, you're a problem to yourself. There we are. Were horses useful in the war? In the First World War, Calvin, I would have said that's when really the cavalry changed after about a thousand years, how we did battle. It changed. We used to charge. And the last charge would be First World War. The machine gun came in. Horses are uh, no defense. Cavalry are no defense against modern machine guns. So there we are. You're posh and 